Namaste, my name is Sonia and uh, in this video we continue uh, doing the Hindi alphabet. Last time we ended at N and we are looking at the next set in the Hindi consonants um, which is dental, uh, which means that uh, we use our teeth to make them. And I will show you how to make, make each one. Okay, so the first one is th. So we have a vertical bar and then like this and then we cover it. So that is th. So it's a soft uh, dental T. Okay. The next one is the aspirate version of it. Okay, so it has a loop. Okay. And then we don't cover the loop with the horizontal bar. Okay, and that is our th, th as in moth. Okay, the one after that is the. Okay, so we go like this, the. And that's a soft uh, dental T, um, which sounds very similar to the English the. Okay. The one after that is with a loop and heavier version of the D. Okay, so it's called Dh. So you go like this. Dh. Okay. And then after that, the final one in that row is N. And that's our N. Okay, no. Okay, so these are our dental consonants. Okay, we use our teeth to make them and to review the, th, the, th, n. So our next line of consonants is going to be our labial consonants, which means that we will using we will be using our lips to make them. Okay. So the first one is pa, pa, and that's how we make pa, like this. Okay, pa as in papa. Okay. So that's our p. And next up is p, p. Okay, so that's the um, aspirated version of that. Okay, so again, we go like this, p. Okay. The next one is b, b. Uh, that's our b. Okay. So we make this with the line. You can draw like this, okay? That's our B. B as in bus, okay? And then the next one after that is the aspirated version of B, which is B. And again, we have that loop, okay? Which we are not going to cover with the line, okay? So that's and then the final letter in that row is ma. Ma. So let me show you in two steps. Ma. And that's our M. Okay, as in ma. Okay. So these are our labial consonants. Okay. P, P, B, B, M. So now we will do our semi-vowels uh, in the next row. Okay. The first one is Y. Okay. So that's our Y. Okay. Y, as in yacht. Okay. The one after that is R, R, okay, so um, 
we can write draw like this. That's our R. Okay, R as in rest. Okay. The one after that is love. Love. So that's basically our L. Okay. Love. As in love. Okay. The one after that, the last uh, semi-vowel is V. Okay, and that's like this. And that's our V and W. Okay, because Hindi doesn't distinguish between uh, V and W. Okay, so can say wonder. Okay, V. And the one, uh, the last one in this row is a sibilant, uh, which just means like a sh sound. Uh, so I'm going to finish that row out with sh, and that's a looped, another looped consonant, and almost looks like a 21. Okay, sh, as in shed. Okay. So these are our semi-vowels, okay. This is a start of our sibilants. They're just a handful, okay. And just to review, y, r, l, v, sh, okay. So, on to the reading practice 4.5, page 27 from the PMP. Okay, we are going to try and read these two letter words that have some of the vowels and consonants that we have learned in previous videos. Okay, so let's try to read them. Um, so, we combine the first uh, letter with the second one. Um, so, this one is a. And then this one we learned today, B, okay? So um, a note on the consonants um, that come at the end in the words. So they will um, end and sound like a voiceless stop. And I'll explain what that means. So how we will pronounce this word is UB, okay? So we won't uh, be saying UB. Right? So it'll be up. Same thing here in the next one. This letter is U. And this one is G. Okay? So we will say UG. UG. Okay? Third one, we have G and E. Kai. Okay? So here it's okay because we have a vowel ending. Okay, number four, u, n, un, okay, so we will uh, just have the short n sound at the end, un, okay, however in the next one, number five, since n is at the beginning of the word, you will pronounce it n, a, n-a, okay. Number six, g, e, g, e. Okay. Number seven, e, n, in. Okay. Number eight, ri, r, rid. Again, rid. Okay. Number nine, a, j. Aj. Okay. And number 10, O, S, O. So now we are going to do some speaking practice. Okay. We are going to learn how to say yes in Hindi. Okay. So it's called G, Ha. Okay. And you can also say Ha, G. G is a respect marker that we use. Um, so it's a very polite way to say yes. If you are including G, okay, G ha, ya, ha G. Okay. And then no similarly has G. G nahi. Okay. Nahi G. Okay. 
And notice the N that we covered today, uh, N, okay, from the consonants. And thank you, we have uh, two ways of saying thank you. Uh, one is dhanyavad, okay, so that's uh, from uh, Hindi, okay, dhanyavad. And then shukriya is from Urdu. Uh, both are, uh, both mean thank you. Okay, so you can use either one of those. And uh, we covered uh, dh, y, and v, and sh today. So those letters are in there. Dhanyavad, shukriya. Okay. And our homework for today from Practice Makes Perfect Basic Hindi is to do exercise 3.2 and 4.1. That practices uh, the consonants that we covered today. And uh, as I mentioned before, writing each of the new consonants three times at least, some people write it five times, um, will help solidify the shape and sound in your mind. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Namaste.